Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of this given radical with the help of algebra and moreover, we are not supposed to use calculators of any kind. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here I have just copied down this radical right up here and let me go ahead and tweak it a little bit. I can write this radical as, as you can see over here, what I'm going to do. 70 times 71 could be written as 70 plus 1 72 could be written as 70 plus 2 and finally 73 could be written as 70 plus 3 and then plus 1 and now we can see we have this 70 is in common over here so let me go ahead and substitute this thing. I'm going to say let uh, x equal to 70. So our radical is going to become simply just the radical of this 70. We are going to replace it by x. So that is going to become x times x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 and then plus 1 and now let me go ahead and call this expression as number 1 and now let's focus on inside this radical this part over here let me go ahead and just focus on this part and I have just copied it down over here x times x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 let me go ahead and rearrange them I can write this as x times x plus 3 and then times x plus 1 times x plus 2. Let's go ahead and multiply this part first and then we're going to multiply this part later. Let's do this one first. So when we distribute this thing we are going to get x square plus 3x so far so good and now let's take care of this one these two we are going to use a foil method or double distribution this x times x so that's going to become x square plus 2x plus 1x plus 2 i'm going to write down x plus 2 so we simply got x square plus 3x plus x square plus 3x plus 2 and now we can see that this part is in common over here isn't it the one that I'm underlying so I'm gonna say once again let uh, I'm gonna call this thing y equal to x square plus 3x so this our this stuff is going to become simply y times y plus now let me go ahead and distribute this one so that is going to become y square plus 2y so therefore we can see that this part this our expression turns out to be equal to this one so therefore this could be written as so thus our this expression one simply becomes I can write it as this one over here this part uh, y square plus 2y and then I can uh, write this one plus 1 over here and now let's focus on inside this radical part if I compare this one with this formula a plus b square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square so this becomes a perfect square so this could be written as y plus 1 square now we can see that this square and square root they undo each other so we simply ended up with y plus 1 but we know our y was equal to x square plus 3x i'm going to replace that one so that is going to become x square plus 
3x and then plus 1 and we know that our x value was where x equal to 70. So now let's go ahead and replace x by 70 over here. So this is going to become 70 square plus 3 times 70 and then plus 1. Now we can see the rest is piece of cake. So 70 square is going to give us 4900 plus 210 plus 1. If we add them up, that is going to give us 5111. So thus our answer turns out to be 5111. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.